Amy saw it, thank God Amy saw it. It's 6.30 in the morning and it is still pitch black out here. Eventually, it's gonna be bright and at least a little bit light in the morning. When I'm leaving the gym, uh, I did 45 minutes at seven miles an hour the entire time. I dropped the incline down a few times, but I felt great. That was uh, probably the best feeling run I've had in a long, long time. My right leg was a little stiff for like two minutes and then it was fine, completely fine. I felt great. Uh, yeah, so I'm stoked about that. That was, uh, that was super awesome. But something incredibly funny came on the TV. A commercial came on, but not just any ordinary commercial. A commercial for, wait for it, commemorative Donald Trump silver half dollars. It also came with not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five, five, five exclusive Donald Trump trading cards. Amy, me. Now that's a package I've been waiting for for over a week. I know it's in here. I think you know it's in here. Well, I guess there's no more free stickers. When I got the hat, I got free stickers. Got the bag, no free stickers. Sorry, this invoice is funny. Including axle mounting hardware and kingpin nuts to make sure they're tight. Know how to adjust your trucks. Failure to do this check can result in serious injury or even death. Okay, CCS, if you're not aware what CCS is, it's a mail order skateboard catalog. They've been around forever. I used to buy pretty much everything from them in the 90s because there was no place locally to buy anything skateboard related. Later on, a skate shop opened up, but like Zoomies, that, that did not exist when I started skating. So everything had to be bought online. And CCS had everything. They are based out of San Luis Obispo, California. Um, CCS, I believe, originally stood for California Cheapskates. I guess at some point in its lifespan, CCS was bought by Foot Locker, and Foot Locker sold CCS to Daddy's Board Shop, a family owned and run, I guess, skate shop based out of Portland, Oregon. So now all of CCS is run out of Portland. It's no longer in California at all. I just found this all out because when I got the tracking and update information for this, it said uh, Daddy's Board Shop, Portland, Oregon, and I was super confused, and then I did a little digging and found out that they bought it. But we have a Herschel Little American, the larger size. Now, closures on these look like you gotta feed them through, but they're actually magnetic. Now my only concern is that my uh, camera block will fit in here because this is way more padded than I thought it was gonna be. This one does not have media pockets. In addition to the magnetic strips over here, there's also a zipper pouch, which is not that big. But I wanted, I wish this had a, a few more features, but I like this, this overall design, this simple, like classic mountaineering style. Uh, it does have a little key clip, so that's that's good. I can clip. I don't like to keep my keys in my pocket, nor do I want to dangle them off my belt. The only thing inside here is a uh, there's a laptop padded laptop sleeve, which this is going to be an Urbex bag, so I don't really need it. Now the reason I got this, and I don't want to use this anymore. There's two reasons. One I already mentioned. When we were in uh, Unity House, I was trying to get like my light and everything out of my bag and I didn't want to set this bag down on all that crap like there was definitely asbestos in there and I didn't want to have all that junk on this bag because I use this bag 
every day. This is my work bag. I take this with me. I travel with this bag. This is my daily bag. So I don't want to put this thing down in all that disgusting crap. I don't really necessarily want to put this bag down in that either, but I'd rather have a dedicated urban exploration bag. The second reason, and equally as important as the first, is look how bright this thing is. So I ordered this, it was on sale. I guess this color didn't sell. It was like twilight blue or something. Inside this bag will live first aid kit, flashlight, gloves, smog, in the winter, a winter skull cap, winter gloves, and then I'll throw in my camera pod, my tripod, and my batteries and stuff. I'll throw that all in here, and then I can just go. Oh, I also want to get a mask and leave that in here. It's not down in here all the way, but it kind of fits. I think uh, eventually the padding on the back for the the back pad and the laptop sleeve is kind of getting in the way. And I, no, there it goes. I think the bag narrows out a little at the bottom. No, it's all the way down now. So it does fit. It's not a perfect fit, but I think it'll work. I will give a full comprehensive review on this bag as soon as I get some some use out of it. I will be using it on Saturday. So in two days from now, I will be doing another exploration. So it will get uh, taken to that. Okay, I don't think I need all of that crap. I'm going to sort through it, figure out what I need. I do need to get a flashlight to keep in this bag, a first aid kit to keep in this bag. I wanna get rain gear. And I want a rain fly. I actually think I have a rain fly around here somewhere. <laughs> I swear there's less and less here every single time I come. No price. I gotta go price check this thing, see how much it is. That was only mildly successful. First aid kit was only 10 bucks. Those stash bags said they were five bucks, but when I rang them in, they were 10. And it was at one of those self checkouts and the girl was not paying attention, so I figured I'll use them. I didn't want to pay 10 bucks, but it was just easier to just buy them. But all the flashlights sucked. The only size flashlight that I liked was in a combo pack and it was like 30 bucks and the other one was like really big. So I went on uh, Amazon and they have the J5 tactical lights for like 10 bucks for 250 lumen or 15 bucks for a 300 lumen. So I'm probably just gonna get a 300 lumen light for 15 bucks. All of the smaller lights that they had in there were like 10 bucks and they were pretty big so I want I really like that J5 Tactical. It's, it's like the perfect size. They had two rain flies there. One box was completely torn open and trashed. And the other one looks like someone was trying to tear it open. But they didn't quite. Backpack. I'm going to sling the tripod kind of like that. At least for now. Inside this blue bag I have the paracord with the two carabiners. And the big yellow bag. This came with three size bags. That's what it came with. Um, I don't have a use of the big yellow one yet, so I threw it, it's inside here. Inside here is my notebook and my pens. These bags are water resistant, so if it rains a little bit, and I don't have the rain fly yet, uh, these will help keep the paper dry, and I could probably pull this orange one, or yellow one out, and throw that over the camera gear, so the camera gear stays dry. First aid kit self-explanatory. I went with, I didn't put my EDC in because it was too big. I went with this. There's a little bit of paracord in here. There's two lighters in here, a fire starter, and a multi-tool. Mag light. 
uh, until I get another uh, J5 Tactical. I will probably keep this probably in here afterwards just as a backup because it's always good. If you have one, you have none. If you have two, you have one. So that'll probably stick around. You never know when the lights are going to go out. These are kind of like thin rubberized gloves. Uh, I had these on at the Iram Temple. A pair of regular work gloves, a shemog, and the gloves I bought showed you earlier. If you like this video or any of my other videos, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can like by giving me a big thumbs up. You can subscribe by hitting that big red button down below or clicking on my floating head at the end of this video. Comment zombie brains if you watch to the end. Good night.